Greeting history buffs and mystery lovers. Welcome to our channel, your gateway to the dark corner of the past. If you're joining us for the first time, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified about our weekly expeditions into history moves, chilling tales. Today we are venturing into the era story of H.H. H. Holmes, America's first serial killer and his diabolic murdered castle. Buckle up as this journey is not for the faint of heart. Our tale starts in 1861 in the quaint town of Kilmanton. New Hampshire. Here Herman Webster Mudgett was born into an affluent family. Young Herman was unusually intelligent, but beneath his bright exterior lurked a disturbing fascinating with death and anatomy, a prelude to his sinister future. Fast forward to 1886, a now adult Mudgett arrived in booming Chicago, reinventing himself as Dr. Henry Howard Holmes. In this bustling metropolis, Holmes saw an opportunity, not for the prosperity but for something far more sinister. This upcoming 1893 world sphere in Chicago would attract millions and Holmes planned to use this as an advantage. Holmes began constructing a massive labyrinthine building in the Englewood neighborhood, later dubbed the murdered castle. This structure was a hotel in the surface but housed dark secrets within its walls. Holmes designed it himself ensuring its layout was disorienting and deceptive with hallways leading to nowhere, doors opening to brick walls and staircases ending abruptly. But why build such a bizarre structure? The answer lay in Holbus' macabre intentions. He envisioned this building as a trap, a place where he could not only murder with impunity but also indulge his caustic curiosities. As the world's fear drew near Holmes murdered castle was ready, he advertised for employees and hotel guests targeting young single women whom he believed would be less missed. Holmes was charming and charismatic, easily learning victims into this web. Once inside the castle, these unsuspecting individuals entering a nightmare. The hotel was a maze of over 100 rooms, many rigged with gas lines to asphyxiate victims or thorn-proof to muffle any screams. Secret cures and hidden passages allowed Holmes to move bodies to the basement without detection. The basement was a chamber of horror. It contained a dissecting table, a crematorium, and bats of acid. Here Holmes would perform gruesome autopsies on his victims, striping their flesh and selling their organs and skeleton for medical research. Holmes' reign of terror was methodical and horrific, yet amidst the chaos of the world's fear, his crimes went unnoticed for years. But how did such a monstrous figure evade capture for so long? The answer lies in both his cunning and the arrow's limited forensic and police capabilities. It wasn't until 1894 that Holmes' words begin to crumble. An insurance scam gone wrong led detective to his doorstep. As they delved deeper, they uncovered a trial of fraud, gaming, and eventually the chilling evidence of the murder. Holmes was finally arrested and the true extent of his gruesome activities began to surface. The murder castle was searched, revealing its gruesome secrets to the world. The press sensationalized the story, dubbing Holmes a monster and devil in disguise. In 1895, Holmes stood trial charged with the murder of Benjamin Whitesell, a former accomplice. However, during his incarceration, Holmes confessed to 27 murders. Though he likely committed many more, some estimates place the number as high as 200. Holmes' trial was a media frenzy, drawing crowd and reporters from across the country. His charisma was evident even in court, but the evidence against him was overwhelming. On May 7, 1896, Holmes met his end at the gallows paying the ultimate price for his heinous crimes. The story of H.H. H. Holmes is more than just a tale of murder and madness. It's a haunting reminder of the darkest capabilities of the human mind. The murdered castle, now a part of the Forbay history, symbolizes the horror that lurks to begin Holmes' charming factor. Thank you for joining me in unraveling this chilling piece of history. If this story intrigued you, please give us thumbs up, share with others who love history, and subscribe for more deep dives into the past. Until next time, keep seeking the truth behind history's mysteries.